in the previous part I've shown how to create an HTML only custom element in this part I'll show you how you can create an Aurelia custom element in Aurelia any component can be treated as though it's a custom element as long as it has a pair of HTML and TS files that have the same name that can be treated as though it's a custom HTML element so we have defined todo.html and todo.ts so technically we can use that as though it is a custom element so now let's go into app.html and then require that we need to do this because we haven't included todo.html as part of the global resources so we'll do the require from and then we're going to change this tag from todo-hoce to todo now we have used the done.bind and description.bind um, syntax but then it will not take those values I'll tell you why if you go back to the browser you can see that it won't take the value of done as well as the description the reason for that is in the in HTML only custom element we've used this bindable attribute to denote that done and description are bindable properties whereas in todo.html we haven't done that we have not given any bindable um, attribute here and we have also not declared this done and description as bindable using the add bindable decorator if you remember that i've used this add bindable decorator in the previous parts when i demonstrated the custom attributes so what we're going to do is we're going to import the bindable decorator and then we'll redefine this two properties as bindable properties the first thing we want to do is import that decorator bindable decorator from Aurelia framework okay and then after we imported that we're going to, we'll be able to use that we're going to um, declare these two properties as bindable properties and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a simple parameter and we'll assign them using the this syntax this dot description equals description okay so now it should pick up those two values done and description and you'll be able to see them they'll be rendered properly there we go that shows how you can create an Aurelia custom element but this is not following the convention even though in Aurelia we can take any um, view and view model pair as long as they have the same name with the .html and .js or .ts extension you can treat them as custom elements but I'd like to show you uh, a convention that Aurelia follows uh, the, fo the convention that Aurelia follows is to end any class with the word custom element and Aurelia will strip that custom element and then if the class name has more than one word it will turn them into kebab case that is it will put a dash in between the words and turn the turn those words into lowercase for example if it is going to be to do uh, with an uppercase H and OCE it will become to lowercase to do dash H O C E all lowercase that's called kebab case so that's the first convention and let's say for example if you don't like the name to do and you want to call it something else then you could use the custom element uh, decorator which is also part of Aurelia framework say for example I could just annotate this class with a custom element and I can call it you know Raja's Raja dash to do so now I should go back into my app HTML and turn this tag into Raja dash to do and let's do a save all and because I changed the name to custom element now we have to use the as the class name everywhere I think we also need to do that in in app.ts as well I guess that should fix this problem let me save all and we'll go back into the command line and see if that is compiled or transpiled okay so let's go back there you go I'm going to add a few more tasks just to make sure that everything's working. So, 
So that is how you define a custom element. And then you can change the name of the tag using the add custom element decorator and also pass bindable properties using the add bindable decorators.